All right, that was quick. Let's say hello. M321, that name sounds familiar. I think I played that person before. So this should be an even game. Let's turn on the coordinates, check the game info. Yeah, normal six and a half points of coming. My rating has dropped down to uh, 13k plus. I lost a few games you saw. One of them I posted most recently. So I'm going to play a 3, 4, and a 4, 4. Okay, so he's going for the Chinese. I'm going to just enclose and give, give Black another move here to see what Black does. Solidifies the formation on this side. Okay, that's, that's very ambitious, grabbing a lot of space like that. Uh, let's jump in here. I mean, maybe that's correct, too. I don't know. So I can get a two-space jump here, or if I do a three-space, I'll be bumping into his stone. Yeah, let's go with the three space here. See if he wants to fight. So I go here and he will cut, which is also an Atari. So I'll extend back once. He's got a cutting point here. Maybe I can exploit later. Um, so now I will Hane. Okay, yeah, so he's going for max greed. <laughs> Here, let's finish this off. Uh, maybe it's correct, too. Uh, and then he seals. Ah, so he wasn't going for max greed. He was going for um, just playing the forcing move before, before connecting, which is correct, what you're supposed to do. Okay, I don't want to give him another forcing move. If I extend straight down, yeah, he can play there. I guess I give him another forcing move anyway, huh? So I go here and he plays here. What do I do? That's uh, Hane on this side. He looks like he's trying to kill me. <laughs> so let's make a solid connection here. And uh, yeah, so if I just connect here, to try and make an eye, he can he can play here. So I should go here, but then when he pushes, I'll have to connect anyway. So what is the move? I wait for him to push. Say I play away, and he pushes and I block, and then he throws in here. Yeah, I'm gonna play one more move there. I don't wanna I don't wanna die over here. <coughs> but this formation should be alive. And now I can. Well, let's take the big extension here. Going to have to do some building here to, to make up for what I've given him. Oh, I'll take another Big extension here. Let's see if he plays the 3-3. Three, three. He should play the 3-3 three, three if you believe. If you believe the uh, engines, he should play the 3-3 three, three there. Okay. So he sealed me in. Got the big wall. Then, yep, yeah, he attaches there. So let's kick that. I mean, he approaches there. Let's kick that. I'm, he's already pincered. Okay, so he's going to crawl around here and then he'll protect one of those cuts. We'll see which one. That one. Should I take this cut now? If I go here now, he runs out. I can extend this way. These stones may, well, maybe will be in trouble. Let's take that cut. Normally they, they protect on the outside and give up these this one stone here to have the solid connection there. So my idea was just to extend in this direction. I 
I mean, I could have extended in the other direction and tried to put pressure on these stones, but I was thinking these guys are pretty weak, aren't they? If I Hana here, though, and he cuts. Okay, he'll be at three liberties. I Hane, he cuts. I'm at two liberties. I can Atari and connect, Atari here and connect, and then I will have one, two, three, four. And uh, he will extend, I guess. I can extend, or I can take another liberty away from him here. Oh, but then he could cut. <clears throat> I think this is correct. Okay, so he didn't try the cut. He tried to... Ah, he's going to live with that group. So I have to block here, and he has just enough time to, to put a stone in there. Okay, so this cut is not protected because the ladder leads to his stones. So let's plunk a stone out there. Build this area and protect that cut. And these stones still need to be protected. I mean, connected. His two black stones over here are nowhere. So I think he helped me out by taking the time to completely enclose this. It wasn't really... I mean, it always had the possibility of jumping out here until he sealed it off. So he gained something by building that wall, but I don't know if it was worth the extra moves he gave me. Okay, so Black is taking some time to think. Uh-huh, so I'll go ahead and protect that cut. That's kind of clever. He's giving himself uh, some... eye shape there. Now, I wonder though, can I push here? If the Hane's on this side, then I can connect. Then he's got a couple of cutting points. Um, if he Atari's on this side, then I can extend, and these two stones are cut off. But my stones are kind of cut off too. Let's just connect. Strengthen this group and maybe build in this area. So, yeah, he's put these two stones in Atari. Thinking I extend up, he takes, and I just block here. But it gives him an eye. Actually, it doesn't give him an eye, does it? So if I extend up here, let him take, and then I block. He could take another move to make one eye. Oh, but then he's connected. Yeah, let's keep him disconnected. Keep those four stones unsettled. Right. And uh, try and build here as he tries to live. Could have considered the double Hane there, but um, this he could cut here and cut here. <clears throat> so let's uh, plunk a stone in here. 
or extend. Let's extend once. And let's plunk a stone in here. See if he wants to protect this area. He does. Okay, let's extend. Okay, I'm trying to undercut his corner here and build build my side on the bottom. He doesn't mind. Okay, let's jump out here to protect these stones. So I guess he's building a big area here. Maybe that's his plan. Do I need to respond to that? What's he going to do? If he goes here, I'll connect and he can push into this area. If he goes there and I block, and he turns, I connect. So he goes there, I block, he cuts here, and I push up and then these are dead. I don't want to keep giving away little things here and there. I have lost games by that, <laughs> not responding <laughs> and, and giving away stuff bit by bit. So I'm going to hold on to that and certainly I'm going to hold on to this. So he made an eye there. He even has two. And then he came back here. So let's first push in this direction. Okay, let's, um, I was thinking this was more of a threat than uh, what he's threatening on this side. I was thinking he needed to come back and defend here. Okay, he's not, he's not worried about his corner, huh? <laughs> okay, he is worried about that one. He is worried about that one. So if we connect here, he pushes. I just make uh, make an eye there. Oh, it's not an eye. Okay, so we can honey on this side. So I made a living shape here. I'm pretty sure. So I cut here. No, let's let's connect. Then. Is this alive? With a stone here, I would have an eye here and an eye here. Um, so if he plays there, I block, I have to make an eye out here somewhere. Best way to guarantee life? I'm not sure. Okay, so he sealed me in over here. Um, let's let him build something in this area. Okay, that's true. He took those two stones. That was, I gave up. I'm gonna pretend like I meant to do that. I'll just connect here. So if he is there, I can block him. Gives me eyes. This one I will fight. Let's connect solidly here to keep him confined in this area. This is good. I will let him create a wall here because I think uh, the wall he's giving me is more important than what he's getting there by quite a bit. So let's take a big uh, Big jump out here before I uh, lose the opportunity. I mean, he's going to hunt, and then he'll build a couple lines of territory there. Hard to say what the best best strategy is here. I'm not sure if I should have jumped out in the middle. Oh, look at that. He's going to eat up some more territory. OK, 
Okay, Ihana here. He cuts. I take. He descends. I think. I think I'm going to play this safe here. So yeah, it seems it's pretty clear. Strategy is um, to use tactics. <clears throat> Let's pincer that stone and try and get something on this side. His strategy is to use tactics here to uh, take back stuff that he gives up originally. <laughs> right? He, he gives up all this stuff to me. And then, uh, and then he uses tactical means to to fight his way in. So if I, um, yeah, like here, he's going to go and try and devalue my center. And let's go ahead and try and slow this down a bit. Yeah, once again, the double honey is tempting, but maybe not effective. Let's connect up. Now, um, first we'll keep the corner. And I want to jump out over here. So this doesn't turn into bunch of territory for him. Ah, he wants to fight this one. Okay. Cross cut, I guess he's going to do. Let's go in this direction. Oh no, he just pulls back. Okay. I will connect solidly there. Let's jump in here. Okay, I'm going to extend once here, and then I'm going to descend on this side. Like so. I'm giving up this stone. If it, it seems that he's interested in taking it. So I will let him have it. So now, this is starting to look pretty good here. This is looking good. He's got a inroads here. I should um, reduce over here. Build build my stuff and reduce his stuff over on this side. Okay, let's push in here and then descend. So I want to be alive on the side here. Get, get as much as I can on the side. Ah. So if I cut here, it's going to, uh, yeah, the cut doesn't work. That's good. If I cut here, he cuts here, and then this stone is, uh, these, these three stones are dead. Okay, I assume he's eventually going to have to come back and protect these cuts, but um, an unexpected reduction there. Yeah, the sky is good with the reductions. Or maybe I'm just leaving too much behind. Okay, I've got three liberties here, but this cut uh, might be... Here, let's go ahead and take that. Shoot, he did it. Look at that. I get Atari here. I mean, I can take that stone, but uh, he can take, he can Atari. So that's how he does it. Well, we'll see, we'll still see what this adds up to because he gave me a lot here. see what I can do. So I'm going to connect there. That cut was annoying. <clears throat> uh 
honey there. Okay, so shape that boundary. That boundary is shaped up. Let's see, he goes here, that's an Atari. So I can't block, so let's connect. Watch for those Ataris. So where is his area? He got a huge area here, counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine captured stones. So that's an extra 10 points for him there. I think I can block here. If he cuts, I'll just connect. And his stone has nowhere to run. So this area plus 10. <clears throat> and then this area in here. And I have this corner, this side. Not a lot. A little bit here, a little bit in the center. So I can push up here and uh, turn here for a little bit in the center. Okay, let's see. Connect here. I don't know, play here. Biggest end game. Okay, I'll connect. Yeah, I was going to say, if he lets me connect underneath, I will do that. But he stopped that. Okay, so I should block on this side, try and keep this area. Connect here. Block here. Connect here. Gotta make sure the cuts around this stone are not working. So I think I can do that. And then stop it like this. So, so this cut is protected. This cut I can capture. The stone is captured here. How many captures has he got? Yeah, nine nine captures. I can block here because this cut will get tarried. So I can block. And stop the cut. Block here. Okay, I can extend there. That's like a reverse sente. So let's see if I can count how many points I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, Let's uh, pass. I think I um, don't really see anything over here. And uh, does he have 68? He has 10 to start with. Oh, plus I had the Komi. Um, so that's dead. That's dead. Those are dead. That's a Dami point. Those two are Dami points. Let's say done. Black one by five and a half points. Yeah. So yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> Let's back up to that uh, critical point. And let's look at that. So Z stones here. So we step, stop that. Okay. 
right there as he pushed down. So let's step one at a time. He played, he connected there. I connected on that side. I mean, one option would have been to connect here. Then these would be saved. Um, I have to make sure this group is alive because if I connect here, then he cuts it off. And I connect, let's see, how many stones is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, I mean, it, how many spaces inside? One, two, three, four, five, five by five. About 10 spaces inside. So I should be able to live there. So that's uh, one option. Go here, he cuts me off, I connect, he extends up, I connect. I mean, these stones connect to over here, which is connected to over here. So these stay alive. So, yeah, so let's go forward one step. He goes there, I went there, he pushes, I block. And he goes there. So I could still connect at this point. So I'm not dead yet, I just have to connect. But I, instead I descended. And this should be a, a very familiar pattern. I mean, it looks like I've got two liberties and I'm going to gain an extra liberty by capturing this stone. But the truth is that uh, when he cuts, it's an Atari because uh, I'm then down to one liberty. This, this turn did not give me an extra liberty. It still leaves me at two liberties. And I haven't captured the stone yet, so I haven't got a liberty there. So he cuts, that's an Atari. I take the stone gives me in liberty, so I'm up to two again, but then he descends and he's got two liberties and I only have one. And uh, I'm in Atari and I can't escape. So that's just dead at that point. So I had to connect there. So, uh, so right here, it's game over. So probably I was winning up to that point, but um, yeah, that's an example of what, what I'm doing wrong these days, why my rating has been slipping. Um, so I played okay, I think, uh, in terms of looking for the big moves and trying to defend my territories up here. This this all worked correctly, but it just takes uh, one slip. <laughs> so eternal vigilance is the price of uh, winning winning a go game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye now.